This is an old cinema camera and this is a smartphone. Are smartphone cameras now so good that they can replace a cinema camera? Or does an old cinema camera still have a place in 2024? Let's find out. This is a 13 year old cinema camera. It's called the Sony FS100 and this is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. So why did I choose the Xperia 1 Mark II? It's because you can put an APK app on there. It's called Video Pro. And when you have that, you have full manual controls over the smartphone camera. So you have options like shutter speed, ISO, white balance. So you can really tweak it to what you like. The cinema camera has a lot of buttons because it is meant to adjust everything. And in the user interface of the Sony Xperia app, it tries to replicate that as well. With all the settings on the right side of the screen, it also has a fake power zoom option, but the zoom feels very stuttery compared to just zooming in and out with a normal camera. And of course, with these physical buttons on the side, you really get used to it and you can quickly click between the buttons. It is something that when you get used to it, it's really nice. And on the smartphone, of course, it's still a touch screen, which can sometimes make it a bit more annoying to control, in my opinion. You even have the option to change between gain and ISO in this smartphone. But what is funny is that on the cinema camera, you have this physical switch, which makes noise when you use it. Whereas the smartphone, it's a touch screen, so it doesn't make noise at all. And that's also one thing is that even though this camera is really big, there is no internal microphone on here. So you have to add that separately, which makes the camera even bigger, more heavy and annoying to carry around. Whereas this thing can literally fit in your pocket. When we take a look at the specs on paper, the Sony Xperia destroys this cinema camera. It's insane. It can shoot in 4K 10 bit at 120 FPS. 10 bit means that you have more color range compared to 8 bit, which this camera shoots in. Because this camera is older technology, it doesn't shoot in 10 bit and it still shoots in the old full HD instead of the 4K that we have right now. And that's only up to 50 FPS. So you are limited with the frame rates and the resolutions of this old cinema camera because it's already so old. But specs on paper don't say everything at all of course because there is a reason why the cinema camera is so much bigger compared to a smartphone it has full-size XLR ports which allow you to get really good audio quality and it's something that is standard in the professional world it also doesn't overheat whereas a smartphone when you shoot for a longer period of time it will get hot another massive difference is the sensor size smartphones can't be thick so they don't have a big depth which means they need to use a small sensor that is nowhere near as large as a cinema camera. And that is the same for the glass that they have in front of it. This has big high quality glass in front of the sensor, which of course gives a better image. A smaller sensor means less light that it can capture, so worse in low light. It also has worse dynamic range, and you won't be able to get that nice blurry background with a small sensor that's in a smartphone. But what is funny is that the Sony actually has a headphone jack where you can monitor your audio into the app, which of course you can also do on the cinema camera. And one thing that the smartphone is better than the cinema camera is that the screen size is much better, much brighter. I prefer it so much over this tiny screen, but this one does have the ability to flip, whereas this is always stuck at one position. Of course, these have massive differences, but the real question is, can you tell the difference between the quality of a smartphone and a cinema camera? I will show you two clips. One of them is shot with the smartphone and the other one is shot on the cinema camera. I won't tell which one is which, and then you can guess which one is the smartphone and which one is the cinema camera. So this is what I shot with the first camera. And this is what I shot with the second camera. So the cinema camera was option B and the smartphone was A. Because of the 4K, the smartphone does have a sharper image and it also does a layer of artificial fake sharpening over it. And you can definitely see that the cinema camera has a lot less detail also because it's shooting in 1080p. But in my eyes, it has a nicer looking image. 
But does that mean that the image quality of the Xperia is bad? Well, of course not. It can still shoot some really nice videos. And for something that you can put in your pocket, always have with you, it's amazing that you can have this kind of manual control in a smartphone. And also smartphones have multiple lenses. That means you have an ultra wide, a main and a telephoto. And you can definitely see that the main camera has the highest quality. Whereas the ultra wide and the telephoto have a smaller sensor. With the cinema camera you have one big lens that can go from wide to telephoto. So you have a really long zoom range. However, it doesn't have the ultra wide mode that you see on a smartphone. So if you want to get everything in shot, then you have to switch between different lenses. And then you have to take different lenses with you. It takes time to swap them. But because a cinema camera has options for different lenses, you can get the lens that you really want. For example, this one is great for zooming, but you can also put a prime lens on there so you can get an even more extreme blurry background than what this lens can do. So in conclusion, the cinema camera is definitely better and it has all the professional features that a smartphone doesn't have, of course. But I don't always have the ability to take a big camera with me. So the ability that I can get good video quality out of a small smartphone is amazing. And especially those manual controls that you don't see on a lot of other smartphones. So what do you think between the difference of a cinema camera and a smartphone? Which one do you prefer to shoot on? Please let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.